I was uh, born in the 50s and I grew up with just a pack of other kids, all baby boomers. And I lived uh, in the beautiful 12th Ward at 10th Street. And um, this is an ideal place to grow up. We thought our street was the greatest. We thought the Park Avenue area was the best. Um, you know, we always felt it was like the Greenwich Village of Rochester. And there were so many opportunities to explore um, art and culture. And to uh, tell you the truth, I had never been to the museum until I was in fourth grade. And we had a field trip. And I loved it. I ate it up. And then, um, you know, even even at this, you know, youngster, 10, 11, 12, I go to the um, museum, the art gallery, Memorial Art Gallery in the George Eastman House alone or with friends, we ride our bikes, the mission was free. And so we'd go all the time. We knew every nook and cranny, every diorama, and every exhibit, and you know, just beat up the history of it, and the art. And I think that um, that's really what inspired and informed my art and becoming an artist. And um, I think that was something that the neighborhood had to offer. Is that you? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's Chris's father. That's Chris Maggio. Oh, really? Okay. Here we are at the George Eastman house. I shot all over.